Hello people, my name is Rishitan. I'm a computer science student at TU Delft, which I'm studying at that bluish tall building. That is the Electrical Engineering, Computer Science and Mathematics faculty of TU Delft. I came to study here from Turkey. I'm an international student. I finished high school in Turkey. When I came here, I didn't have any computer science knowledge. I originally came for Electrical Engineering, which is a study in Dutch. Therefore, I had to learn Dutch in a Dutch course. and. After I finished the Dutch course, I decided that I want to study computer science instead because I find it a more interesting field in a way that to make a computer science project, you just need your knowledge and your computer. Whereas for the other science and technology fields, you usually need to fund your project if you have a big idea. Well, that really depends on the scale of the project, but that's my main view on it. So I chose computer science. I want to first talk about the admission process. In this video, I want to talk about my experience in the first year and I want to talk about a few more things that pop into my mind such as I'll give you some tips and tricks and I'll tell you the main differences of TU Delft compared to other universities in the rest of the world. Well, you probably got accepted to TU Delft as you're watching this video. Congratulations, but that doesn't really mean anything. It is because there is this thing called Binding Study Advice, BSA. In the first year of computer science in TU Delft, there are 12 subjects and each of these subjects are 5 credits, so that makes 60 credits per year. You need to get at least 45 credits of these to be able to stay here on TU Delft. Otherwise, you will be expelled and you won't be able to come back to TU Delft Computer Science and Engineering for the next 5 years. You should be very careful about this because it is a challenging study and it's really easy to fail more than three subjects. So there is a quarter system here. There are four quarters and three subjects on each quarter. In the first two quarters here, you'll be getting lectures such as computer organization, object-oriented programming, object-oriented programming project, web and database technology, reasoning and logic. So if you're an international student like me, you'll probably realize that Dutch students are doing slightly better than you on these courses. That is due to the fact that you are probably coming from a classical curriculum which you don't learn much about computer science whereas the Dutch students that are studying here are coming from a computer science background where they in the high school learn about basic object-oriented programming they know some Java, JavaScript which helps them a lot you'll see that they'll be doing much better than you by studying much less and you'll need to compensate for instance for me to be able to compensate and to be able to pass my classes I had to study 12 to 16 hours per day. I was just going to school, I was listening to the lectures, I was going home, going through the lectures again, I was trying to compensate what I'm missing compared to the local students and I was doing my assignments so that was taking a lot of time and I was only able to sleep 2 hours per day along all these things so it, that wasn't helping at all it was pretty tiring for me but it was fun because you are learning a lot of new things it was so surprising to be able to learn so many new things in such short time if you're a Dutch student it will be easy for you in the first two quarters but don't take your knowledge for granted because in the third and fourth quarter the lectures that are more computer science rather than dry programming will be taught and in these lectures you will actually have to study just knowing how to program won't save your ass so many people fail because of this you should be very careful and keep your discipline on how to study and as I said discipline I was a piece of shit in high school I didn't know how to study at all I didn't know how to program my time so if you're a student that is coming to TU Delft I suggest you learn basic programming how to program your time and how to discipline yourself to program my time, which was the hardest thing to learn, I started using an app called Asana. I'm just throwing all the deadlines that I have and everything that I'm supposed to do into that app. And I'm just checking the app once a day. And I'm just following my plan through that instead of thinking, oh shit, what did I have to do? So that's going to save you a lot of time and it's going to keep you programmed. Otherwise, if you're not keeping track of what you're doing, you will fail things. I can 100% assure that. So be very careful learn those timing and programming and disciplining skills let's talk a bit about the 
differences of TU Delft compared to the other universities. For instance, in the US, you go through a hard admission process to get into a university. And once when you get admitted, you're almost assured to finish the university at a certain time. Well, on TU Delft, that's not really the case. The parties and drinking won't be really your main focus. This is this university that you will actually be challenged and the challenge starts when you start studying here. Many students that can balance their student life and school life are finishing the study in five years. So the average time to finish TU Delft is actually five years. So if you want to finish TU Delft in three years, just study well and don't. Your fun will be computer science and engineering. I want to give a few tips to especially Dutch students. I want to warn you people because this is an English study and if you don't improve your English, you're going to have a hard time. I think TU Delft doesn't really have a test to test Dutch students English. Uh, even if they do, it's not challenging enough apparently because I've seen some students that have trouble yet speaking in English. Well, if you're a Dutch student, just improve your English and I've seen here a lot of Dutch students that don't really enjoy working with international students. Try to work more with the international students. Don't just close yourself with Dutch students because you're going to a really good school. In the future, you are probably going to work in an international company that is really good in an international environment. So try to mix with these people and have a nice experience. Teach something to yourself. These are eventually people that are coming to your country to experience something nice, to get a better education, blah, blah, blah. That's it for today. Thank you very much for listening to me. Like, share, subscribe, comment what you think or dislike the video if you didn't really like it. I'm also going to be making videos about the lectures. Like I'm going to evaluate each lecture in one video. So stay tuned. Keep up to date with the channel. Thank you very much for watching it. See you at TU Delft.